like I talked about in my last video, if you haven't checked out my challenger deck already and you're interested in some cool, sweet things that you can play in standard for relatively cheap and having little to no additional investment into getting into standard and having a competitive deck for standard, uh, feel free to go check out my video. I'll link it into the description of this video. But for now, if you're here for the for the title of the video, which we're going to be going over the two new cards spoiled in Modern Horizons, which are supposed to be cards that are new and exclusive for Modern and the other Eternal formats and are skipping standard entirely. So without uh, further explanation, uh, I'm going to start with the first card that caught my eye and which one I thought was kind of the more insane one of the two I'm going to show today, and that's Cabal Therapist, which is a pays homage, homage, or whatever that fancy word is that you want to say to Cabal Therapy. It is a 1 mana, 1 black mana for a 1-1 one, one menace creature. Uh, at the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, you may sacrifice a creature. If you do, choose a non-land card name. Then target player reveals their hand and discards all the cards with that name. So, essentially, like Cabal Therapy, and the flashback part of Cabal Therapy, but the, what, what makes this interesting is the fact that we're going to have some functional print of Cabal Therapy in Modern. And while this card is obviously a little bit more, uh, has a little bit more upside in the fact that you could do it more than once. Because obviously if you flash back Cabal Therapy once, uh, you can't really cast it again from your graveyard. But this one lets you be able to do it, or lets you have the option to do it uh, if you would choose to. And gives you more opportunities to do it as long as this lives. The first thing that came to mind was Dredge with all their random like creatures that they play that they can just get back, like Bloodgast and Narc Amoebas, they don't really care about getting back, but they then have some utility to them, which makes this super easy for them, or makes it a little bit easier for them to fight through additional pressure like Anger of the Gods and things like that. Also, another one that I'm going to talk about, another deck that I'm going to talk about more with the next card that I'm going to talk about. Uh, black White Tokens is like an archetype that people like to play and it just doesn't seem to perform the way that you think it would with all the good uh, token producing Planeswalkers and effects that they have in Modern. This card, ironically, might make it better given the fact that, again, all those sweepers like Anger of the Gods, Pyroclasm, and things of that nature this card can kind of fight through them and help them fight through while also putting pressure on players as well, being a 1-1 menace creature. While it doesn't seem like that, even that's super impressive, there was a vampire that came in standard, I believe a year and a half ago now, close to two years, that was, was a pretty good as a 1-1 menace, and it also drew cards, and I think this card being able to... And it discarded a card too, and you had to sacrifice it, but... This card being able to fight through more uh, disruption that isn't turn zero or turn one disruption, while also giving other decks fle flexibility and being a possible inclusion into another tier one deck, I think Cabal Therapist, of these two cards, is going to make a big impact in Modern, or be one of the cards that will at least be tested a lot in Modern uh, around the time that the set ends up dropping. So that's kind of like my... My take on Cabal Therapist, very powerful. If you have a chance to pick them up, I would at least give them a try and definitely work on getting your playset. The next card, which is for more people probably more exciting in terms of flavor than it is an actual card, but I think it actually might have a home in Black White Tokens, as I was saying earlier. We have Sarah the Benevolent. Now, she's a Planeswalker. 4 mana, 4 loyalty, pretty good. That can go up to 6 loyalty when you activate her. Uh, creatures you control with flying get plus 1, plus 1 until end of turn. While not very powerful in any of the decks that are currently played in Modern, but again, going to black-white tokens that plays like Spectral Procession and Lingering Souls and the Fairy Enchantment that I cannot... Bitter Blossom, that's the one. That all make flyers, this kind of makes it like a pseudo finisher, where if you could just go up the curve of just making to, or playing a bitter blossom and then playing a spectral procession and then playing this, you have eight points of power in the air with a planeswalker that's a, 
could uh, end up embleming the next turn. If not, just keeps plussing to make your flyers bigger and eventually beat through. Also can be a 4-mana four four Sarah Angel. That can then make it a 5-5 five five if this ends up living past that. And the emblem being a harder version of... Oh man, we forgot it. We had all the I had all these cards memorized and I remembered them as soon as like I went to recording. But of course, as soon as the camera turns on and I start talking, I forget. Um, it becomes a better worship because you can't obviously can't get rid of the emblem. And while tokens are probably going to be easier to get rid of than most other cards or most other like creatures and things of that nature, this still is a very tough worship effect to take away in decks that just have a hard time beating through creatures and slogging through a ton of just token creatures and can't two for one you efficiently this becomes very good and then other copies of sarah the benevolent get better as you can just make four four angels or already pump the flyers you have in play so while I don't think this card is going to see much play and even in the black white tokens deck I don't think it's going to make tokens tier one or anything super crazy but this gives them another way to like race and and fight through um other like mass removal or just help race against other decks that are obviously faster than than black white tokens and that's the home that i kind of see it in i also see it in some other like toolboxy creature decks where maybe it's not even just playing it for the plus two or the minus three, but just the fact that it's a planeswalker that you can eventually emblem and then get that uh get that worship effect that obviously can't be removed by the enchantment hate and things that we see in modern uh post board. So all in all, probably the card that has the most upside and the most likely to find a home in a deck where Cabal Therapist I think is the card that has like the initial just power level of being a cabal therapy on a stick but the drawback if you will to being a creature and sometimes not even really being a drawback either with all the creature tutors that are in in modern and things like that i'm sure that there could be some people just playing court of calling to go get this card to sacrifice their persist creatures and make kitchen finks and, and cards like that uh really powerful again and again also being a 1-1 menace creature it can also put a clock on on your opponent and be annoying to deal with to then help you have a little bit more reach in some of your decks and that's going to be it for modern horizon stuff unfortunately this is the only two cards that we've had spoiled so far um both i think are already very good while I'm not super blown away by the Sarah planeswalker i think it's going to be a fine card in modern not going to be enabling anything busted or doing anything super broken just a very fair planeswalker where even if it's just a four mana four four flyer or four four that makes a flying token and gains you whatever life whichever burn spell or creature that ends up taking the hit from it is still probably pretty decent and modern as long as they're not killing you on that turn and Cabal Therapist, just a very powerful enabler for certain decks that kind of want this card, but also at the same time have maybe a little bit harder of a time fighting through disruption, now have a little bit easier of a time doing it with this card. And that's going to be it. I'm glad that you guys uh, came to check out the video. I'm going to be trying to keep up with more of the Modern Horizon spoilers. Again, this is a completely new product that we've never seen before. We've had Commander products that introduce cards into Legacy and Vintage. We've never had a, a set that completely skips Standard and immediately just puts cards right into Modern without having to wait for a Standard printing. And I think that's going to enable a whole lot of things. They're will more than likely be a video coming up too of cards that i would like to see in modern horizons before we get any more spoilers from horizons and seeing what cards are in here i have an idea of a few cards that we could be getting to modern in the not so distant future or wouldn't be surprised if we got but that's going to be it for me hope you guys enjoyed the video keep an eye out for more magic content i'm looking to doing more standard and modern uh deck tech coming up here soon on something cool and, and modern something that i've i've seen people playing and while maybe not the greatest deck in the format still looks like a lot of fun and a, a, just a grand old time to play 
But yeah, that's going to be it for me. I'll see you guys in the next video.